Hey guys, um, so I'm going to do two videos. I'm going to do one kind of showing the tracing of the photograph, and then I'll do another one when, when I go into school today, um, showing you how to project. Um, so we're, we're going to be working from a photograph. I got this photograph at Walgreens with my 40% off. It was $1.49. Um, I thought they were a dollar, but a dollar forty nine, not bad. You can see my wife's uh, face in here is about the size of a lemon. So we want to go about click on the five by seven inch print. Should be a portrait, kind of zoomed in portrait like this. You can see the light is coming from um, her left side. Okay, and you can see I've already started to trace just to speed this video up a little bit. So Natalie, if you if you come in here a little bit. Okay, and you can see here that I've um, I've taped a piece of the acetate onto the photograph just with a couple little pieces of tape so it doesn't move as you trace. I'm using a Sharpie, an ultra-fine Sharpie. Um, I will have these pieces of acetate or plastic in our cabinet in the, um, in the painting room, and I'll have a can with the Sharpies. Some of the Sharpies are red and green. It doesn't really matter, but, you know, really black's probably the best, okay? Um, you may find that you have to um, shine a light on what you're doing, depending on how well you guys can see. Your eyes are probably better than mine. but um, So you can see here that I'm, I'm just kind of picking and choosing wherever I see changes in light, color, and structure. And I don't want to make any like generic marks. I don't want to make it kind of close. I want to make it exactly where it needs to be, okay? So as I come through here, you know, once in a while a student will put too much stuff in there, but you're almost better off with too much stuff than not enough, okay? You can eliminate moles if you want and stuff. Uh, as you go in through hair here, okay? Um, I'm just sort of staying along and just picking out all the big things, okay? Coming through like that, kind of isolate this dark area right here, isolate this dark area, that one right there. And again, just sort of talking yourself through it, getting all the big stuff. You notice how I can just trans transition from hair to face, it doesn't matter. Down here on her uh, fleece thing here, we're just getting some of that, some of this shadow like that. It's probably pretty dark in the video, but you'll notice like her neck, I don't really see anything. Once I take the plastic off, I'll be able to see a little bit of change here, but there's really not a lot going on, really nothing um, that I could use my pen to change. So this is all unfortunately gonna stay one color. I'll have to look at the photograph very carefully um, to determine if there are little any nuanced kind of changes there. But as we look at her, we got, we got pretty much the big things. Look at, I got a little, highlight on her lip here. It's a little bit darker right there, so I'm going to indicate that on her lip. I got the highlight on her nose, her nostrils, eyes, eyelids, um, eyelashes, eyebrows, most of the big light and dark changes through her hair here. Okay, um, I got enough of her jacket here to kind of be able to paint that. I'm leaving the background out right now. Again, the background is entirely up to you guys, so anything you want to use there, and you could you could transfer a photo onto your canvas using the same process of a different background. So, so that's that's about it. Um, so, Nat, if you want to take a little shot of that, yeah. So that's kind of what we're looking to do there. Um, okay, there we go. And so you can see that uh, pattern of line that is then going to be projected onto your canvas. So you have basically like a coloring book that you can work from, okay? So um, thank you, and I will uh, post this, and then look for the um, look for the the um, corresponding um, projecting video. Uh, I'll probably call it like portrait projecting or something, and that will be taking this piece of plastic, putting it on the overhead projector, which there are going to be three in the hall for you that you can use anytime. You're going to project it onto the canvas, draw very lightly. Um, and then you're ready to go. So thank you.